All right, project fans. First video that I want to do in the brand new studio is I want to go over the solution to the Brooklyn Nine-Nine 12 men on an island puzzle. I did a video on this in the past and I got a lot of comments on it. Uh, I think people got a little confused with the derivation of the solution and didn't focus on the solution itself. So I want to make a dedicated video just going over the solution, why it works and why it's so simple. So I will let Captain Holt explain the puzzle to you right here. Don't just tease my brain, Captain really go to town on it. Here's the problem. There are 12 men on an island. 11 weigh exactly the same amount, but one of them is slightly lighter or heavier. You must figure out which. The island has no scales, but there is a seesaw. The exciting catch? You can only use it three times. That sounds super exciting. Is this thing mandatory? Oh, I hope so. Please say yes. All right, guys, uh, the first thing that you're going to notice from that clip is probably Gina made a really funny face in there, and that's because I condensed the clip a little bit so it would play a little bit better for our purposes. Uh, but to kind of go over everything, Captain Holt posed a problem in Season 2, Episode 18, and the team tried for the entire episode to solve the problem, only to find out at the end of the episode that Captain Holt does not know the solution, which left the fans, like myself, high and dry with no solution to the puzzle. So I went and solved it. Okay, before I get into the solution, first I just need to go over the labeling that I've used to solve it. So right here is just the position of the seesaw. So L is the tilt, tilting left, C is center position or no tilt at all, and R is just the right tilt of the seesaw. This is just the position, okay? Now this right here is the entire solution to the problem. In the first case, the first use of the seesaw, this is the configuration of my Islanders. Second use, this is the configuration. And the third use, that is the configuration. That will never change. No matter what happens here, I will not change the position of the Islanders at all. That's what makes this solution so simple. Now, after we have the configuration here, all we have to do is reference this chart which I have a whole nother video, like I mentioned before, explaining how I got to this. I have the derivation, I've got an equation associated with, and I am planning at some point in making a video showing the algorithm to build this. Um, but if you wanna see that, go check that out. For this video, I'm just gonna go over the solution and why it's simple. So let's use an example here and just check it because this will always work no matter who it is and what, well, whether they're heavier or lighter, which uh, from the comments that I got in the other video is always the mistake that people make. It's easy to find out who it is. It's hard to determine whether they are lighter or heavier. So we're going to use person number four for an example. Let's say that person number four is heavy. Okay, person number four is heavy. If person number four is heavy, the seesaw will tilt left, then tilt right, then tilt right. I reference the chart, left, right, right, person number four, they're heavy. Now the beautiful thing about this is because the information is laid out symmetrically, I can go like this and say light, light, light. If the person is, if it's person number four and they are light, the seesaw will tilt right, then left, then left, which is right, then left, then left. It's person number four and they are light. This works for every single person, no matter who it is, it will always give me who it is and whether they are heavy or light. Um, just another example here, uh, let's take person number 11 and make them light. 11 is light, 11 is light, 11 is light. So person number 11, we're gonna go center position, is gonna tilt to the left and then center position. So uh, center left center is person number 11 and they are light. So that is the solution and that's what makes it so simple. There are no case scenarios. I don't have to change the configuration depending on what, this, uh, what happens in this use. This will always give me the correct solution and I just have to reference this chart to get it. Now, uh, two things after this video. First, I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, you can go over all of the examples. You can try every single one of these and you'll see that this works every single time. Um, but if you want to see the derivation, uh, I will have a video playing. How about right there? Uh, you can go and check that out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please share, uh, leave me a thumbs up, and give me a comment if you've got questions. If you think that there's a simpler solution to this, which I don't believe there is, but if you think there's a more simple solution than this, leave me a comment. I'll check it out, and uh, we will go from there. Thanks, guys.